Hello guys, today we're going to see the spread operator and I'm doing this because it makes me look like I know a lot okay why is important to know how the spread operator works because in react a lot of times you're not gonna be able to change or mutate a state or an uh, bar a variable but mostly a state uh, by just doing state dot uh, state dot attribute dot uh, attribute nested in the attribute equals to hello you're not going to be able to do that you're going to be always be changing the state by uh, adding new elements by by replacing it by a new a new object a new a new the state is immutable so it's always being replaced by new objects um, there are a lot of libraries now that allow us to do that the dot dot attribute equals to like emer you can google that emer how that works which under the hood what it does is to take the is to you is to do this the spread operator but you can you just do the modification in the normal way but let's 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 give it let's do an example here okay so we have students i prepare a list of students these students are three students okay and they have a teacher inside and the teacher has the class 101 it's mrs johnson and she teaches she teaches math okay so let's start with one student student uh yeah this this student first how do I change the name of this student? I will do name equals to Alice, Alice 2 or Alice 3, Alice 4. But I like to be named, I like her to be named uh, uh, Alisa. Uh, yeah, because, it, yeah. Okay, so now she is. Alisa. That's one way to modify it. The other way is to go and say spread operator student and then name. Uh, let's say is Alisa. Williams so now she's not she has has not been replaced student still be still is Alisa but we can take this and assign it to Alisa student equals to this so now student as a new object a new object with Alisa Williams and how did we change it by spreading the student then writing the attribute we want to change okay and writing the value right now let's get a little deeper into this what if i want to change the subject of the teacher of alisa williams okay because this teacher uh don't tell don't tell everybody but he's the worst teacher uh i i, I think 
she's on on some kind of medication because she always writes uh like bulgari and bad words on the on the on the board so we want to change her to do instead of teach math she's going to teach she's going to teach something that allows her to touch the board less because she she writes she she draws she draws like uh, uh, I don't want to say what she writes but it's very vulgar it's, it's pretty it's pretty she's also she has a bad mouth and she says all kinds of uh, bad words so let's change her to music because she plays the violin see we're making a whole book here <laughs> with the spread operator so let's change the subject of miss johnson because of her bad mouth and she has a bad breath as well so let's she plays a violin so she's going to to, to, to teach uh, music so in order to change that we need to we, we need to do it the same way like student then uh, teacher okay but here is where it comes here's where it, it gets weird we need to do a spread here of student teacher and now we can change the subject and we said she was going to teach music we close this and we need a spread operator here and here okay so did you see what we have done we spread the stu the student so we can modify the teacher okay we spread the student so we can modify the teacher so now that we can modify the teacher from the root like this using the root on the top level now we can spread the teacher and change the subject inside the teacher object so in that way now the teacher is teaching music okay this is very important to know uh this is this is uh, uh you're going to be asked about this when you use uh react uh, sorry redux is very it's very uh, possible that you're going to be asked about the spread operator when you are using redux but let's see other use for the spread operator the spread operator not only works for objects it also works for arrays and why do i mean by that i mean that if we have like uh let's say uh, 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 uh let's say we have a which is going to be one two and three and then b which is going to be four five and six, and six. okay so I don't know why this is three 
is four, five, and six. It is this is this is showing me the 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 latest. So, what if I want to merge these two? What would you do? Well, you can do at this point. We we can do a lot of things. We can do a map that that mm, takes. Well, not no. Wait, no. We cannot do a map. Uh, okay. So let's create C. How are we going to create C by spreading A and spreading B? And now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. See, spread operator is also useful for uh, uh, is also useful for arrays. Uh, it's, it's very useful when you, for instance, uh, you have the C, okay? And you want, with the C, you want to sort it, okay? Right now it is sorted ascending. Let's say that I want to sort. And remember, I have a video about this, but let's do A, B and i want to sort it descending so now it is descending but c is modified and i don't want to modify c i just want it i just wanted a version of c uh, uh descending and i modified it okay and i don't want that I want a copy of C and then apply the sort. So let's, let's, let's uh, put it back in place. Now it is one, two, three, uh, four, five, six. And now we're going to use the spread operator to create a copy of that array and then sort it. So we go here and go and do a C. So now we are we are seeing the copy of C. We're not seeing C. We're seeing a copy of C. The spread, the spreading of C. And now we can sort it. We can sort it ascending B minus A. We can sort it ascending, descending, sorry, descending. And we can go to check C. And C is, is not, has not been touched. But we have what we want here. We want it uh, descending, a descending C. So now we have a descending C because we created a copy with this, okay? So it's, it's very interesting how the spread operator can help us a lot. And especially, especially with React, we need to use copies of, sometimes a lot of copies of arrays because you're going to be, you're going to be iterating, you're going to be iterating arrays that might be states and you apply the sort and you cannot mutate the sort with you you cannot mutate the state so it's gonna fail and you're gonna be like why because you're trying to mute to mutate the sort so it is very useful to use this we can we can actually come to like this and add it to, to D. D is equals to this. So C C and D are friends. Even though they are different, they are friends because D is descending, 
See, it's ascending and it's on touch. There's another another way to use <laughs> the spread operator. There, there are a lot. There are a lot of ways. But there's one way that always called my, my attention because I didn't find I didn't find it useful, but I, I, I can even I, I can even tell you that it might not work. Let's try. It. So let's say I have params, right? And I have one, and two, and three. Those are my params. One, two, three. And I have a function that takes a b. C. Okay, so the function ABC is called is called uh, zoom. So it is going to return the sum of A plus B plus C. Okay, so if we use sum one, two, three we get six and if we use some guess what Param, we get six <laughs> so you can use the the array uh, the array objects you can use them as params of a function like this I don't see it very useful but you can do it and it's important to know it it's important to know that you can do it because that can be uh, an interview an interview question okay so I think that's it for now for the spread I hope it was clear because I know that this part over here is a little confusing uh, I will suggest you to to practice like to practice doing some of these kind of operations like this this one this one is a little it's not complex it's just it's just weird is it, I mean you're spreading the student so I'm going you're going to modify the teacher okay so in order to, mod to modify the teacher, you need the, the original values of the teacher. So you spread the, the student dot teacher, and then you change the subject of the teacher. You need to study this, to practice this a little bit, and you're good to go. You know about spread operation, sorry, spread operators and how to use it to modify. Uh, objects to join arrays and to use them as parameters for your function so I hope you like this video and see you the next time bye